Hiya, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I want to do a little chit chat about growing up, um, questioning, like basically just growing up in general, because I watched this amazing, and I'm actually gonna like say what it was that inspired me for this, um, Dodie the YouTuber basically put an album out of like her entire album and all the videos and I literally loved it, it was amazing, like go check it out if you want Dodie, like it's like an acoustic singer that's like a girl that's young and she sounds amazing so yeah. Anyway, um, basically I was watching that and like it just gave me like a little bit of like inspiration for talking about certain things um, and like obviously anyone grows up at everyone grows up at different times so like this isn't going to be relevant to like all the people in the world so I'll like talk on like what I think and uh, my experiences at the moment so um growing up in this sense is referring to questioning relationships a lot for me so like it would be like I feel like when you're at school and you're younger you can just like and it's normal as well when you're like surrounded by children and people peers all day um to be like being in school and stuff you really like I feel like it's you can you obviously like will lie to yourself and be like oh so and so like you won't see the best in everyone because like no you just wouldn't do that because like you're not like I feel like it's easy to like say to yourself oh that person like might be like mean or I spoke about this in another video which oh I haven't uploaded yet but I talk about something to do, I can't even remember I'm not going to go tangent in too much but basically um oh I I think it's totem poles, I talk about spirit animals and how like people can also have like traits of like animal, like being certain, like just on my totem video I talk about how everyone's got different characteristics and it's easy to just like, obviously like we're all like designed to have like a f like certain amount of friends in our lives and there we go, it's okay not to be friends with every single person um, and <clears throat> anyway questioning yeah my relationships because I just feel like it's easy to like judge people when you don't understand them and like obviously this is just anyone does this and also yeah just like learning more about like going through life and I swear like everyone does this through life oh my gosh I'm so I've been on a walk oh my gosh I don't know if I cut that out I might end up staying in there I don't really care that much but yeah so yeah questioning like relationships um be good for good or bad and being like learning to be honest with myself about them but also not to be pessimistic so just as I'm I'm very like careful about how optimistic I am I'm a bit of a realist I feel like um or I've tried to be because I know that I don't want to have my head I'm a bit of a I'm a bit of a dreamer in terms of like my uh, no that's a lie that's actually a lie I'm creative but I'm not a dreamer in in way of I'm not going to like let myself get too caught up in the dream if you know what I mean so when I talk about this I'm very like that in relationships so I feel like I've been quite nitpicky in the recent past and I'm getting to know that I'm a highly sensitive person and like I have a lot of individuality traits about certain things which I also have another video on I think somewhere in my list of videos and um basically I am yeah starting to question relationships because as being a highly sensitive person I've got also take into account that like I have had to put energy into myself therefore I haven't been putting energy into other people because some people like one good thing about people that maybe have high narcissistic traits because they're drawn from their ego their they, their view is their ego I did another video on narcissism I'm sorry I'm tangenting so much but my point is if you've got narcissistic traits that might mean that you observe a lot about someone else because you're for various reasons but that might mean that you're aware of a lot of different people and you see a lot of different people and what they're like whereas I might not be like that because I'm more I, it's, I wouldn't use introversion for this I just say because I'm a highly sensitive person I would like be more into myself and like you know like I'm more invested in myself than I am perhaps in looking at everyone else you know um, and that's the honest truth it doesn't make me I, I mean my friend at school one of my friends we used to we used to like have this little thing where we were like we're so obsessive and like we're teenage things but there we go so questioning yeah, relationships um but yeah also being I feel like level-headed and like that's always the best way to go in any situation really um for me and like realistic I didn't even think about this but also expectations sorry I'm writing things down 
I'm just gonna write expectations down so I know to write, write in a title. Um, so yeah, also expectations um, of relationships, which I think I found the cold hard reality of, and I'm sure like a lot of people have been in this situation where we have hopes uh, for a relationship or, um, you know, an expectation for people, but we are all human beings. We are all, as they say, I forgot what the word is, the actual thing in the Bible, but I heard someone say we are all but a vessel for God. So we are not perfect beings. We all make, excuse me, I'm so sorry, mistakes. And there we go. And we all have our flaws, which are very difficult to deal with for other people. Um, so anyway, I've, yeah, I found the cold hard reality of expectations, especially in romantic relationships recently, to my own detriment um, and others. So there we go. Uh, and their own detriment, I'm sure, because they probably felt the same. So anyway, basically taking accountability through this as well, I've like learned a little bit more about myself and how and taking more accountability for my own actions, especially in relationships and also outside relationships. Oh, outside relationships, I've been doing that for years. I've mentioned in my other videos that I've been in the mental health system in the past, and that for that I had to take responsibility for my own life for my own you know, health. Um, well, like, it's not like I didn't have responsibility for my own life, but I feel like, I wouldn't even refer that to the mental health system. I feel like it was supported by the mental health system, but just growing up, getting older, you're going to take more responsibility for yourself as part of growing up. But taking accountability in relationships, which I have done in my relationships, I feel like, but not, maybe, but honestly, truthfully, maybe not all of them, like even in like family relationships, perhaps I haven't like taken all, all responsibility that's needed, but things take time. You can't rush anything. Um, you know, everyone needs time to heal if, if there's usually been, you know, various people that haven't taken accountability and what will be will be and what will not will not. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I, so accepting as well that I'm not going to be a teenager ever again, which was one of the lines I feel like in one of the songs I mentioned um, at the beginning of the video. And I feel like this is like such a powerful thing because I feel like I've had loads of people say that to me you know people, older people they're like oh I wish I was your age like blah, blah, blah. and like being my age even though like I remember especially when I was younger and I like was just a, like I feel like you have that school lever beans and then you get a bit older and you basically lose those beans. Like, I, yeah, I'm not even gonna say what my art teacher said to me once in the class. He said, everything goes downhill from 21. And I was like, that's so depressing. Like, I feel like he said it as a joke, but I took it so literally. Like, you couldn't, you shouldn't just say that to people. I'm so gullible though. Like, I literally ate an orange pill once because someone told me to on a school camp. Like, don't tell me that everything's gonna go downhill from 21 because I'm gonna take it literally. Well, anyway, there we go. Um, so basically, uh, yeah, realizing I'm not going to be a teenager again, um, and not to say like I haven't like learned from those years and I can't be fun and young and interesting. I'm not trying to be a forty-year-old, but I'm just also accepting that like I shouldn't potentially. I feel like with society and how we've been, how the clubs are, and how, and I'm sure like life will go back to more clubs and everything like that and become more club related but I know I've been massive on drinking and drunkenness and everything in the last few years um and I've like got as I've said in other videos quite more religious now and I've and it says like don't be drunk all the time and drunkenness and it's bad so um I just feel like accepting the fact I'm not going to be a teenager again yeah I'm not saying I'm not going to go clubbing obviously I am um, but I think maybe seeing yourself outside of that, which I've like come to do, obviously none of us have been to a club in like two years, I hope. I mean, so I'm sorry, my camera cut out because I have a uh, noose, didn't have any memory. Um, so it's fine because I was tangenting anyway, that's probably for the best. And yeah, uh, yeah, basically that's the end of that. You can kind of get a teenager thing. Letting go of the past. Um, I've done a couple of videos relating to this slightly, but being letting go of the past and like, like accepting situations, because um, I think there's this this like there's always like a fear. It's just fear that comes with certain situations, because a lot of the time fear is not even 
real like it's like a perceived idea which may happen but most likely won't or will definitely never happen you know like being a teenager like sorry wrong, wrong point letting go of the past I feel like yeah it's painful a lot of things are painful which is probably why the fear is there but like being able to release past stuff is scary and it is scary to release but it's going to be scarier not to and things take time but I'm just saying yeah letting go of the past is another way that I'm learning to grow up uh, because you can't, you can't, they always say, let go of the old to make room for the new. And I don't mean that in a way to like, oh, I'm going to ditch my friends, I'm going to ditch my relationships at all. Um, because that was like a thing for me. But again, that was a fear related to something that wasn't even there. When people say let go of the past to make room for the new, that doesn't mean that you need to ditch everything. You need to ditch like a house, you have to move to fucking France or something. You don't. Um, but obviously, yeah, being... Uh, Letting go of the past is necessary to make room for a new, but these things always take time, like, you can't rush anything. Um, I'm not gonna- I'm gonna put this in here, which- or do, I'm gonna have a biblical free video, to be fair. Um, so, as, I mean, like, I like to put the- but I'm not gonna get all biblical on it, because I feel like that's for a certain group of people that maybe not everyone would, would relate to that. Uh, differences between temperance and repression. This is my last one, I think. So, um... Uh, yeah, I'm literally, I mean, that's obvious, isn't it, when you look at it like that, but I feel like people, society represses people um, for, for various things. You could, anyone could be repressed, it's not like one group in society is repressed, you know, people that maybe are seen as more of the less repressible, the rich and famous, are probably repressed with their own issues because they're rich and people think, oh, who cares what, you know, Donald Trump and Boris Johnson think because they're rich, like, they're bulletproof. Well, no, they're human beings. So, there we go. Not to say that I didn't have a little giggle at the Boris bop, as long as he's okay with that, but, you know, it can be taken in the wrong way, in a mean way, so whatever. Um, differences between temperance and repression. So, yeah, I feel like we can all be re temperate towards each other in relationships and temperate towards ourselves and not repress stuff because it's so easy to look out at the society and just think because you've had so much repression potentially it depends what kind of person I mean no one likes to go to school for example I feel like or not no one likes to go to school let's just say if you had a choice at the age of 10 do you want to be in school for however many hours a day every day and I'm not saying that like school is bad because school is good school teaches you and you get to be around your friends when you're a child I've not got an issue with that what I'm saying is I like you know school was fine for me if I could have chose now to go to school or not go to school I would have said to go to school um but it's easy to then take into society or I don't know like I'm not gonna but yeah the difference between temperance and repression I've already gone into that completely so I'm not gonna like ramble on so yeah that's the end of my video for now um and I'm going to be uploading a couple more because I have them to um export and upload but yeah thank you for listening to my video subscribe if you want if you don't that's fine i upload videos every week um more than every week and i'm loving it so i'm going to keep going thank you for listening goodbye <laughs>